Hey, I'm back. In... Katie? Lily? Anyone in there? It says world's greatest husband. At least that's what the guy at the oh, souvenir right. stand said. Mm. Katie, Katie, you know, I... I've been waiting all day uh... to do that. Wait, wait, wait. Where have you been just now? I went to get a bucket of ice so we can have a glass of wine. You like white best, right? <laughs> oh, I want every day to be like this. You come home from a rough day and I greet you with dry wine and a wet kiss. Katie, wait, I have then, something to tell you. No, and you. then we can sit on our porch and cuddle and drink wine and watch the sunset and then I'll kiss you. And then I'll do this. <laughs> and then you take me up to bed and you know what comes next. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What's up there? there? Lily could walk in at any moment. She's going to be gone for hours. Why? Where is she? I think she went back to that church. What? But you let her go back up there alone? I don't want to hurt anyone, but I am a man of my word. So you had to deliver Damien to me as promised, or I will kill your husband and son as promised. Somebody there? Holden? Luke? Who are you? Who are you? Are you, are you with the church? No, dear lady, I am employed by a less holy organization. My name is Inspector Guido Borgia. I am Prefect of Police. What are you doing here? My office received a report concerning a disturbance here at the church. Perhaps you know something about it, Signora Snyder. How do you know my name? <gasps> oh. Oh, please tell me. Please tell me that that's not... Friar Domenico. The deceased, Friar Domenico. You did know the man, did you not? Oh. No, 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 I've never heard of him. Then I assume you do not know how he died. A heart attack, a accident, I... We no. have a reason to believe the man was murdered. Why would anyone want to kill him? Before we get to that question, why don't you answer my question and tell me why you are really here? Can you tell us, Mr. Montgomery, how long after this interlude, shall we say, with Carly Tenney, did you stand at the altar promising to love, honor, cherish, and protect Barbara Ryan? A few minutes. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. A few minutes. I married Barbara a few minutes after, after that happened. That being this kiss, for the record. Yes, the kiss. Mm -hmm. So, the marriage vows you made to Barbara Ryan only minutes after this photograph was taken weren't really vows at all. It was just a casual lie. Objection, Your Honor. The district attorney insists on drawing conclusions. Withdrawn. Well, let the jury draw its own conclusions. All right, let's stick to the facts. Fact number one, you've admitted to cheating on your first wife. Fact number two, you had no qualms about cheating on Barbara Objection. Ryan. So-called right fact the... is not in evidence. Withdrawn. Fact number three, you tampered with your son's trust fund. Is the district attorney delivering a filibuster here, or is there actually a question somewhere? Ms. Griffin, do you have a question for this witness? Yes, Your Honor, I do. A, um, a very simple question. With all the multiple instances of lying and cheating you've acknowledged in this courtroom, why should anyone believe you now when you say you did not try to murder Barbara Ryan? Don't, Craig, don't take the bait. Because I didn't do it! Huh? I have made my share of mistakes. Bad choices, but I would never contemplate murder. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but a few years back, did you not plant a car bomb intended to murder a man named Steve Andropoulos? Objection, Your Honor. Whatever has been dredged up from the dim past is clearly prejudicial and should have no bearing on the matter at hand. Your Honor, he opened the door. I walked in. Sidebar, Your Honor. Come forward, both of you. And quiet down. We need to be able to hear ourselves think. We've been looking for you, Mr. Dever. You're not an easy man to find. You recognize me, don't you? My name's Hal Munson. I can explain what we're doing here, Mr. Dever. You, you hurt me. Uh, yes. Yes, she did. And she feels really awful about it. And she's very sorry that it happened, right, Emily? Oh, right. I'm very so sorry. You wanted to hurt me with those scissors. Well, Mr. Dever, you didn't give her much choice, really. She had to defend herself, you understand? It was her own fault. If she'd minded her own business, I would have left her alone. But I had to do it. I understand. I, I had to show her. I, I understand, Mr. Dever. You only hurt people when it's absolutely necessary, right? What people? Never mind. I know. You mean the one who got hurt by the bomb I put in the boathouse? <laughs> Julia! Out of the hospital already? Mm, I needed a little field trip. You shrink okay that? <laughs> I got tired of the hospital. Oh, the food was awful. Besides, a few errands I needed to run. I had to pick up a certain accessory. So while I was in the neighborhood, I thought oh, I'll pop in and visit an old friend. Who might that be? <laughs> you, silly. Well, as much as I would love to stay and chat with you, I, I really do have to go. And I'm more late. I'm scheduled to testify in court today. No, no, Carly. You already testified. And you didn't manage to save Craig Montgomery either. All you accomplished was to prove once again that you are nothing but the same tramp that we've all come to know and despise. Oh. I guess they really keep you current in the nut hut, don't they? Let's not do this again soon. <laughs> On the contrary, Carly. You're all set to go. Let's leave together. No, no, really. Go on ahead. Come with me, Carly. I insist.